I mean, obviously another fun Niagara Kinesis game there. It's always a battle when the two of us play. You know, I, I thought that we did a nice job today. We've been having a bunch of leads in games and um, relinquishing those a little bit. And I thought we did a really nice job um, holding the lead. I thought Sada was really good for us in the middle of the zone, their zone. Like she got catches in there and got to the basket in the middle of the zone. And I thought that was really important for us. And then I thought defensively, we have really concentrated on guarding harder. In the past bunch of games, that's what we've done. And, you know, that helped today. I mean, you know, their shooting percentage is always an indicative of two things. They didn't shoot well, and maybe we had something to do with it, right? There's a somewhere in the middle there. But I, I thought our compete level defensively was really good. Uh, Jada mentioned it, but do you think, I mean, this was another case where you know, they've got two lowest post players, your pack line defense, really, this is an example of a game where Around maybe a little? Yeah, it's definitely coming around. It took us so, I don't know, it took us a while to really understand. It, I, and I think really to play hard in it. I think that was the biggest thing. We couldn't play really hard in it, but now we can play hard in it. And it does take that low post presence out. And then at the end, they were just bringing them out and trying to go off the bounce with them. Um, and then we went small with, with Celia and Sada to try to keep that in front a little bit. I mean, I think Victoria might have had, like, she couldn't get the ball in the low post. In the first half, she might have had two touches in the yeah. low post. That was our thing. Let's try, let, let's not let Victoria and Kaylee Strumpel get the ball in the post or the elbows. Like we had to get them away from those two spots. Like when you watch them play, they score in the post and they score in the elbows. Like they catch in that elbow, they rip and drive, and they're so good. So our thing was let's not let them get it there. Sarah, you just look like a different player this year. Would you agree with that? Um, I feel like more confident. Like I've, I feel like I've always been this player, but. Um, like in the summer I worked hard and I feel like now I'm in the flow of the motion more and like today we played against so and so four out like we call it and yeah I'm like in the flow I would say. Last year I mean the, can you uh, talk a little bit about the adjustment of leaving home coming to a new country and new team new game different you know talk a little bit about how the difficulty of that since last year. I mean coming from small Iceland and to America, it's like a big change. Um, not only, um, not only like it's a like different country. It's like the language, school, like I'm um, like, like college in a different language. That's tough. And on the court and like the basketball is completely different. I would say like the pay, like the speed, everything. Every everybody's a lot stronger and like taller. I would say. And, right. I don't know. It's, all it's more big. serious too, right? Would you agree with that? Or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's right. a lot serious. Now, serious. Uh, but you speak English very well. I mean, did you uh, tell him that? <laughs> <laughs> she does. It's gotten in my. It's gotten so much better. Like it was good. She was always bashful about English it. English was your second language back home. Absolutely. Correct? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. I'd say that. Yeah. But you spoke it. I mean, when you came over, you seemed like. Well. Yeah, but I was really shy and like I don't know. She didn't want to speak it because she was always afraid it was she was gonna mess it up. It was her English was good, you know. And then, but speaking it and then studying it at a collegiate level exactly. is a whole different ball game. Like yeah, right? writing like, papers and like all that. Like yeah, it's a yeah. Different, different format and everything. So, and um, we didn't have set of the thing that other people don't, we don't realize is we didn't have her for summer school last year. You know how normal freshmen come in. We didn't have the paperwork and everything through for summer school. So I think that hurt her growth a little bit um, academically and basketball wise because we didn't have her to, to you know, work there. Because we're seeing what we always thought we would see, right? Like just that's how good we think she is and in our, in our conference. And I think she can be, get better. Like she's going to keep getting better. But it's that comfort level of understanding. And, you know, in Iceland, Seta was the everything, right? And mm -hmm. now here she's learning how to play with all kinds of other people and she starts to stuff stat sheets. You know, her assist, her points, her ability to make plays is really good for us. The, um, in, in the summer, did you spend, where were you in the summer? Back home? Um, I spent... Yeah, you were playing, she, you, you were playing for, um, the summer before freshman year, she was oh, playing for the no, national. No, this summer. Oh, this summer. summer. She was here for a bunch of it. Home yeah. and then, she was home and back. We have two summer right. sessions. And the great thing that Seta has is she's got a mom that works for the airlines, so, so, yeah, <laughs> so she can go back and forth a lot easier than the normal person can. Mm -hmm. So she was here part of first and then all of second. What airline? Iceland Air. Iceland Air. Yeah. Your, uh, you know, just your confidence when you get the, like, there are times where 
you know, you just see, you can take it to the rim. Yeah. You know, drive down the lane. Did that several times, and it just seemed like your will. You, you're going. You know you're going, and they're not stopping you. Can you, you know, taking it off the bounce to the rim? Is that? I think that's just like practice. Like in the summer, I was always like today. I got a lot of left-handed layups from the opposite high post, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, I was I was working with Shauna Greer, our coach, as a singles a lot. Like just like fake, go to the basket, finish strong. Like that was, I think, the the most like that I had to work on in yeah. the summer going like finish finishing strong because at home you I just, didn't have to like I I was taller than everybody and like we sent her pic I sent her pictures last year because she was <laughs> talking like we we're talking about last year during the freshman year ball body on ball oh, away okay. so I would send her pictures of LeBron and all of because they're the ultimate body on ball away finishes what do you, mean body on? you put your body on the defense and oh. put the ball away from oh, the yeah. defense <laughs> and that's what you see she's right. doing so it was last she's I kept saying, I want to make these layups I'm like well this is what you have to do and then right. to her credit she's been working on it for a year right yeah, yeah. Um, so just re a quick uh, review of old history uh, Margaret recruited you basically she right? did so she sent the videos to you correct you didn't know her she, I don't. Bit. No, we have you a. Saw the video. Yeah, we have. We she sent the videos. We have a back animal behavior, and that's a major she's in. Right. And she wanted that badly because right. she's going to be a vet. Right. So I liked her a lot, right. but we didn't have a scholarship, and I kept watching her, and I'm like, I don't know, we don't have a scholarship. So she was going to come and walk on, and then I had a girl who had an ACL, Brooke Angelos. She had one more year, and Brooke's like, I just don't, I can't do it. Right. So Brooke left in April. So I called Margaret up and FaceTime and said, Hey. You got a scholarship. And then you saw her. The, on all the game, a bunch of the games, I kept seeing her. <laughs> and I kept saying to Tara Fleming, my sister, I said, listen, I know who this is because I got online and she's got a twin and I figured it out and this is the one. Let's figure this out. And then we sent Tara to see, to see her in the FIBA World Championships in Romania that summer. Wow. And she killed it there. She was like the second leading scorer, leading rebounder at most double doubles. Right. So we tried, worked hard, brought her over to visit. Was it so cheap did visit? You, were you thinking of coming? To, did you have any thought that you would play college basketball? In the US? Always, I always wanted oh, to do that. Yeah. Okay. Always so when Canisius came after you, you thought, okay. Yeah, I I really like Canisius and the cozy stuff. They're amazing. So. So you didn't have to be like dragged <laughs> across the Atlantic. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I was so excited. Like, yeah. yeah, I was, I was really excited. But it's so. a big step, and sometimes people like she, as much as she wants it and wanted it, and she's doing great. Like you're leaving your family. You're leaving your twin sister. Yeah, You're twin leaving sister. your mom. <laughs> like so those much. things, you know. So you know a kid really loves it right. if they're gonna do that. And right. she, I mean, Sela loves basketball. Like right. She loves to play. What your twin sister's name is? Priet. Her her name? Yes. Priet Sif. Priet. I call it. I say. I say Priet. It's B R. Spell it. B R, I E T. But like I with apostrophe. Priet. Like, Priet. Right. Yeah. And you and uh, your pre you in Iceland you pronounce your name Sada. 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 Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm trying. I, I always call her no. Sada and, and Sada Rune. Sada Rune. Rune. Uh, because Rune. we we use middle names in Iceland, so Sada Rune. Yeah. Ah, uh, Rune. Because Rune. The, their last names is daughter of. Right. Right. Yeah, so. yeah. I got that. Yeah. Uh, what would you say besides your family you miss most about Iceland? Uh, obviously friends and food. Food, what kind yeah. of food? Um, I feel like like the food at home is more healthier. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> it, it, certainly, it, 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 it certainly can't be worse than what you do. I would say, I would say like the food that my dad makes, like he's a great cook. And What's I, the best dish? I love fish, so fish. all seafood. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. it's my favorite. And uh, winter in Buffalo. Is it an adjustment for you or no big deal? Um, I don't. I I feel like it's colder here, but at home we have more wind and like ra more like it's rain like it rains a lot right. and more snow here. You don't get a ton of snow there, right? Um, sometimes, but okay. yeah, I feel like it's more. Right. Yeah. So this winter's been back on wood, not so much snow. <laughs> right. right. And then if you could just like you know the strengths of her game when you saw she has she's skilled. She's yes, she's skilled. She has size, and she's athletic. Like she's bouncy and athletic. So that's what we saw that fits so well for the way we play. Um, and you know, she continues to develop her three-point shot. And that now you see how she goes off the bounce. When she's shooting a three and goes off the bounce, it's she's hard to guard.
Coach, if I uh, may real fast, uh, just uh, Niagara made it interesting pulling within four sort of mm -hmm. towards the end of the fourth quarter, and then he called the timeout. Uh, what did you say to your team to uh, calm them down in that uh, quick timeout there? Because whenever you did, it worked, obviously. Yeah, that, that's, you know, because we've, we had leads in the last couple games, like we were up huge, 15 in the third quarter on Monmouth, and ended up up seven going into fourth and up losing the game. And so I wasn't going to let it go further than that. Just to set up, say, you get, we have this. You got it. Mm -hmm. keep, keep engaged and playing together. Because I think sometimes if you get scared, you start sort of going on your own page, and then it gets a little disjointed. And I thought we came out of the timeout and stayed right together on it. Mm -hmm. So no big X and O thing. <laughs> it was just stay, stay engaged together. And then Coach, how happy did it make you to see that your team, I mean, 18 assists on 22 field goals, that's got to be something that you really like for your offense. Yeah, that's how we, we love to play, right? We're, we're passing to each other and hitting the open person. Um, that's big for us. I thought Miskovic was huge tonight. I mean, she's... She's cut, you know, I don't, I don't want to say 100% because she's definitely not 100%, but she's, she's really good for us. Even, I told her, I said, her game is here. So when you have an injury that slows down, it doesn't slow this down. So she can still play out there. I mean, she had eight rebounds. She assists. She's played really well for us. Anything else?